This is spectacular. I know how difficult your schedules are, how busy you guys are. I know some of you may be running away at midnight, it's, you're so busy. And the fact that we've got you under the same roof is just amazing. The fact we've got you on the same sofa is an utter miracle. I never thought I'd see this. Like, we are so happy you are here. Hopefully you're enjoying Wales Comic Con. In Telford? Yes. <laughs> it's not as Welsh as I imagine. <laughs> and we know Wales well. Yes, we just wanted to stretch the borders a little bit, you know, and uh, yeah. not only the borders, but the parameters of what is possible, uh, you know, in relative, uh, uh, you know, d dimensions and space right. as well with you here. I had to, I hadn't been paying attention, and I got, I just got picked up to come here this morning, and I thought I was in Wales. <laughs> Quite, I was quite a chunk into the day before I realised I wasn't in Wales. I mean, the clue is usually in the title, isn't it? <laughs> we've had we've had a, a couple of questions about that. We really have. We really have. Yeah. Do you know what we started today? I feel we've got a lovely audience. They, everybody that's here literally has fought for tickets to be here to see you today. It's really, really special. <laughs> everyone knows David Tennant. Everyone knows Matt Smith. But I really wanted to get to the origin story. I wanted to know how you, you've got to be sitting on this sofa tonight. I want to know how it all started off for you both. And... <laughs> yeah, they were suddenly very orange, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think what, that was what, miss, what, what's your favourite? Oh my goodness. I <laughs> Well, well I'm, I'm old enough to sort of really love the Daleks and whatnot, you know. So. Oh, who doesn't love you? Oh, his <laughs> favourites, yeah. And then Davros as the king of the Daleks. Mm. I saw him today, Davros. He was, yeah, he's here. What? I saw him. He was just knocking around. If, yeah. if he's not here, is he? No. He's rolling. Really, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's spring out to this. Yeah, so. and also I had a really weird moment because I was like, is Davros still staring at me from over there? It's <laughs> <laughs> been like an hour. <laughs> like boring waiting now. for you <laughs> yeah so we did say we've got it's, it's sort of like three doctors on this panel today and i did a huge amount of work obviously as an evolutionary biologist tracking animals through space and time so it's, it's almost doctor whoish and of course i do lots and lots of voiceover uh, for, for for my own programs on bbc one and when you've done that and you've done it for about 16 years you know you're secure it's going to be you called, especially for nature programs and that type of thing, you're going to be called to do the voiceovers unless another doctor comes along and starts to do those days. <laughs> and I just wondered how you got into that and if you're enjoying it. If you want to know about Adelie penguins, I'm your man. <laughs> but apparently it's not all black and white, is it? <laughs> no, got it doesn't get any better than this, so okay, <laughs> what you're paying, that's, I can tell you that. We chose to leave. We were, neither of us were kicked out. Yeah. So, on you, 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 one hand, you're doing something willingly, but you're also aware that some, this has been, this show has been quite life changing, mm. you know, because you're suddenly in the middle of something mm. not like anything else. Yeah. You've been in the middle of this sort of focus for you know, the last four years or whatever, and you're sort of intentionally casting yourself off. But it's but it's quite emotional, it's quite... Yeah. A whole range of feelings about it. It's hard. And then you've got this scene which is obviously really charged with pain and change and regeneration and all those things. And, and you want to do that justice, but not... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a, it's also a microcosm of what it's like to be in that show. Mm. That, that when you're, you, you're filming that moment when you regenerate and leave, and there's, everyone's focused on it, and everyone's desperately get it right, and the, the, the machine of that show, which is very impressive, yeah. um, and has a lot of very clever, very motivated people behind it, or is all there trying to get it right, and you're right in the middle of that, and this is a big moment for the character, for the show, so everyone's very focused on it, and it's you, and it's you, and it's you, and it's all happening, and you're right in the middle of that, and you do it, and you've got the take, and everyone goes, we've got it, right, you've done it, off you go, and you sort of walk out, and then somebody else comes in, and the show keeps going. <laughs> in your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, so you kind of go from being the, the absolute centre of this, 
and then you walk out the door and everyone's attention just goes yeah. onto, and you kind of go, oh, I'm completely dispensable. Yeah. An hour ago, I felt like the most important creature on earth, yeah. and now it just trundles on without me. And of course, that's what you want. That's why it's amazing. amazing. And of course, you wish everything for the person who's coming in, and you're, you, you know, you're, you're, your heart is with them, but at the same time, you go, what am I, chop liver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very weird mix of emotions. Yeah. It was Peter, Peter was there when you did Peter your was, last yeah, yeah, he came in. I gave him my watch. <laughs> I gave him my character watch. So then I just panicked. You know, and, he, and, and, then, and then also this other actor coming in is just so no. I do actually remember thinking, God, I'm pleased I don't feel like that. Because it's fucking it's terrifying. terrifying. It's terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Was Chris there? No. No, Chris had shot his whole bit. And was gone. And they just left a sort of bit, a bit of step. Because there was also a sense that they might, if there hadn't been a series two. Yeah. I have yeah. a feeling they even shot a different ending that they'd have used if it, I don't know. If, if, if it hadn't gone, really. Because what would, you, you wouldn't have, because well, you don't want to be the guy that regenerates in the, you know, show up for 30 seconds of a series that never comes back. <laughs> then what are you? Then do you even count as a doctor? <laughs> What would that be? <laughs> but so they'd, they'd wrapped months before, and then I came in and sh shot a little bit on the, came all the way down to Newport it was then, and sat on the TARDIS set, and there was nobody there. There was like a crew of five. Billy was a, a, a cross of tape on the wall. <laughs> um, and we did it in like two takes, 20 minutes. How was it coming back for the 50th? Because I think I'd be quite nervous if I had to go back now. Yeah, I, it was. But then you just, I mean, because it didn't, it didn't seem like you were. You no, it was nerve wracking. What was nerve wracking about it? Because it hadn't been before. that long. Yeah. It had been, what had it been, three, four years, something. So it felt, it still felt like it was in. He came in his own costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't have to do with mine. But I, mean, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get off the train in it. Don't, I mean, don't <laughs> think I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I brought it in a suit carrier. I didn't like turn up at the read through going, You're ready! <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yeah! Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I, you're nervous because it's not your gig anymore. That's what's scary. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't really know each other that well. No, 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 no. So I thought, oh, this could be Matt's idea of a nightmare. And he's showing up like the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time, though, didn't we? We had a great time. You know, from, the, from the moment we met the retail, I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in a way, the pressure is slightly yeah. off. Mm. Because you're not, you know, I always loved it, but it was always, you were always kind of, there's a pressure on you the whole time, isn't there, to be there and be on it. Yeah. It's quite, fun. it's a bit more fun to share it. Yeah. Share the load a little bit. Yeah. And also you kind of know what you're doing because you did it, you sort of in your head and you knew you had fun and you'd also know that you're just coming back for a little visit. Mm. It was fun. I well, should try it once sometime. I think so. Yeah. yeah. We should go back. Yeah. yeah. A buddy episode. Yeah. 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 Saying that you chose to leave the role of Doctor Who. It's obviously a hugely important part of your life. I can see when you're, you're talking about the role of Doctor Who, it's its literally very, very special about yeah. you. So how do you, how do you let go of something like that? When do you know it's the correct time to go? For me, there was, uh, it, it, Russell T. Davis and, and I had sort of been on that journey together and then Julie Gardner, the executive producer, we'd all sort of been on that journey together and we all were kind of looking, we all sort of were talking about when we would finish and how we would do it, and, and, and therefore it was, a, it was a sort of suicide pact, in a way, you know, we, were, we, we knew that we would all go together, and that, that, and that just, once you decide on that, it just makes sense, really. Um, and then I had a little moment when I sort of thought, well, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do the dirty and stay a little bit longer. <laughs> but no, I just, it just felt like, that was the sort of that was the thing to do. It just had a sort of sense to it, because because you're also thinking, I don't know, you. I sort of thought this is such a sort of thing that if I don't go now, which is this kind of the time to do it, and there's reasons to do it, and there are other people doing it at the same time, I'll just be here forever. 
I'll just sort of keep doing it forever. Which, you know, hardly a bad life. But you kind of think, well, I, I, I do sort of, as an actor, imagine doing other things. So I probably have to go now or never. But it's not an easy, it wasn't an easy decision to make at all. Was it the right one at the time now, in hindsight? Oh yeah, it was still the right thing to do in the right time to do it, I think. Um, which doesn't mean I'm not sad that it doesn't exist anymore. But I think, you know, I, I, it's, it definitely opened more drawers than it closed. And it's been... Uh, and it never really goes away. Mm -hmm. Because you get to come back for the 50th, you get to sit in rooms like this yeah. and talk about it. Ten yeah. years later. Ten years later. <laughs> so it, it never leaves your life. What, what what was the process for you? Exactly. Well, I it was it was quite similar really. I I I also felt I felt the pull of other work, I suppose, and I thought I thought sometimes if you play a character too long, I could find myself sitting in it too with too much. Um, it, it 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 risks becoming too familiar, and I thought the sort of the, you know the idea for the story arc and stuff like that was was. <laughs> going the way I wanted it to. I mean, I nearly left when Karen left um, and didn't. And it was really hard for me when Karen left. It's, it's hard, that, isn't it? When really hard, yeah. You, you yeah. Know, it's a real <clears throat> tricky thing. But um, yeah, there was just a sort of instinct in me that felt like it was the right time. But again, it's, 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 it's a real pull. It's tough. And again, for you, in hindsight now, was it the right move for you at the time? Do you, are you, are you think comfortable so. and happy? I mean, I went and did a job and shaved my head and came back. <laughs> yeah. Moffat was just like, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> we said as well, you know what, you know, what I'd love to do for the rest of my life is like, just let me do the Christmas specials. Yeah, that would be great. One a year. One a year, and we'll swap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just give it to a different yeah. doctor every yeah. year. Yeah. That'd yeah. be great. Oh, yeah. Because there was something magical about, you know, the, the, the just being on telly on Christmas. It really was, yeah. yeah. That's the bit that I miss most. Yeah. Christmas rolls around and then Christmas Radio Times comes out. Yeah, yeah. That was the bit you used to be, I used to be most proud of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the middle of Christmas Day. Uh, it's like, they're not doing that anymore. Why are they not doing it on Christmas Day anymore? Oh, What's going on there, people? Piers, we've got to get on to Piers about that. You're mentioning Peter Capaldi there as well, mm. and I, I had the honour of working with Peter Capaldi. I was doing some voiceover with him, and I was so excited. And the BBC at the time, they said, oh, we'll put some tweets out. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. You know, Doctor Who and myself are doing voiceovers. And the BBC literally put the tweet out, Doctor Who and Doctor Pooh have been doing voiceovers <laughs> together. Yeah. Thanks so much for that. That's harsh. It was that is harsh, wasn't it? You Why know, yeah. Doctor Pooh? Well, evolutionary biologist, so I, I spend a lot of my time collecting poo and getting DNA signatures <laughs> out of that. Uh, Seems better things to be doing, isn't it? Mm. I'm happy to be on stage tonight, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> the Dominic Lowen. <clears throat> oh, wow. Jacob Barrio? Yeah. No, look, we're, we're very grateful. We, 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 we love you. We love Dr. Cole. Well, this is such a lovely thing um, that we get to do. Yeah, it's... um. When we get to hang out together, yeah. and we get to talk about ourselves for an hour and a half. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now go home. So I've got one question then, before, so we, we've got you for a couple of more minutes, I think, literally a couple more minutes. Okay. Okay. Are you okay with that? Ooh, yeah, sure. Okay. So Matt, you said you weren't going to come back. You didn't know if you'd come back. I was wondering about the 60th anniversary. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not in our gift, though, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, we, we yeah. It, it, we, it's all very, very good. Well, if we sit here and go, yeah, we'd love to come back for the 60th anniversary. And by then, the show's run by someone who hates us. Yeah. They just <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, they might just go, you know, those old fuddy duddies coming. Well, they might have a better idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's. Well, I, I suppose I've slightly been there, and I got asked to come back for fifty of them, and and it did feel like I couldn't possibly say no, really, because I remember as a kid, the twentieth anniversary of Doctor Who, God, being so excited uh -huh. by the idea of all these doctors, some of whom I'd never seen. Was that the five doctors? That was the five doctors. Yes. Which is only really yeah. three doctors, yeah, a new bloke in a wig, 
the and some bits that he didn't use from another episode. I mean, it would have been a catastrophe if you didn't come back. That would have been bad. Well, I just thought, I remember how excited it made me as a kid. Mm. To, and, uh, you know, and, and I also remember being really sad that Tom Baker didn't come back um, for the Five Doctors. And there's just a little clip of him. So, why didn't he come? Just because he thought Son did had enough, I think. I don't know. Yeah. We should ask him. Get him on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I remember that, that. So I thought, well, I wouldn't, you know, again, it was this sort of eight year old in me going, that's so exciting to be part of that sort of event. Do you envision anything like that happening again where you're all going to be called together? Can you think of a scenario? There is a bit of a time limit as well, isn't it? Because you do, unlike the Doctor, one does get older. Um, <laughs> you know, was it how many years away are we from the 60th? Four, four years away? Yeah, three years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We really just about scrap, just scrap about through, can't we? Yeah. I think my, I might be pushing yeah, the 70th. <laughs> I think. I'll be over 50 by then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, David, because I'm 50 next week. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, uh, You're looking very good, aren't you? Looking I'm looking very good. Good. That poo is obviously very good for your skin. <laughs> 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 it is. Smear it all in the air. I promise you I did. I did wash your hands. Uh, there we go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it has been the absolute honour of my life to interview you, you both today. I mean, it has been just incredible. <laughs> Thank you.